had the privilege of attending the NRA's annual meetings and exhibits, and what an excellent show the NRA put on. It was so great to see so many other Second Amendment supporters out in numbers. I just hope the same numbers show up at the polls in the next presidential election. I only got to go for one day, but I was so impressed that in the future I will make sure that I attend the entire weekend. I wish that I had more time to attend some of the speaking events, but what I did get to do was tour the exhibits and I wanted to share some of these amazing new firearms with you. First off, I think we need to talk about the SIG exhibit. As I'm sure you all know, SIG has the new MCX and MPX coming out this year, and I know that some have already shipped. These guns could be a huge home run for SIG. They're modular, adaptable, and seem really high quality. I hope to be bringing you a full review of each as soon as I can get my hands on them. Basically, I can tell you though that if they're reliable and accurate, I'm in love with these two. Also of note from SIG, as I am a huge 10mm fan, they're bringing out a P220 in 10mm. Another SIG on my must-have list. Really huge year for SIG, at least in my eyes. Also, I'm sure everyone has heard about it by now, but Glock had the Model 43 at the convention so that consumers could hold their new baby. This gun is very nice, extremely slim, and should be a mammoth seller for Glock. The other huge release from the show is, of course, FN will be bringing to the civilian market the M249S, or better known as the SAW. This is part of their military collector series. They will have an M16, an M4, and a SAW, just as they sell them to our military, except semi-auto, of course. Asked two different reps about pricing on the saw, one said $6,000 and the other said $7,000, so we know that it will be expensive and that it will be available in the fourth quarter. The saw of course looked amazing and I'll be looking into selling some internal organs to try to afford one. kel as always, has lots of interesting stuff that they produce on occasion was really impressed with the CMR30 and there were three of them in the same room which I thought was a pretty big deal. Of course it only took me three years to finally get a PMR30 so I'm not holding my breath on this one. Also they had the RDB at the show and this one kind of surprised me. The action and the trigger are extremely smooth for a bullpup. If the production model is the same, this could be the best out-of-the-box bullpup trigger. Another thing that was a big surprise was HK's new P30SK. This gun was very impressive, as all HKs are. I hope they come out with a magazine with a pinky rest like the old P2000SK, but I know that was something that a lot of people hated, but I of course liked. The P30SK is a really nice compact size, fits well in the hand, and seems really high quality. Also, I'd have to say that if I could only have one new compact 9 from the show, this will be it. The price should be competitive too. They had the MSRP at 719 the same thing they had the VP9 at. So this shouldn't completely break the bank since you can find VP9s for about 600 the new Breda M9A3 was there too, and I think this is a nice and welcome improvement to the M9. The colors have been an area of contention for some, but I personally like the new look. And then there was IWI. If IWI isn't on your radar now, they will be by the end of the year. According to the rep, the Uzi Pro should be shipping by the end of April. I'm a huge fan of the original Uzi. And while part of me wants this gun to be larger and heavier, I can see the practicality in this new version. They will also have a pistol stabilizing brace available so that you can rest your Uzi up against your cheek, chest, strap it to your arm, but definitely not put it on your shoulder. 
The Galil should be shipping a few weeks after the Uzi Pro. If you're unfamiliar with this gun, think of it as everything perfected on an AK-47. The action is like butter and the trigger is excellent. I really can't emphasize how much more this is than just a modified AK. The ergonomics are also far superior to an AK. Hopefully I'll be bringing you a full review when these start shipping. Then kind of hiding amongst the Tavors was an X93, which is somehow an improved product Tavor. Now I must have just been completely blown away by the news because I forgot to take a pic of the X93. The rep said that they should be available in the fourth quarter. Overall, really amazing show. Was so happy to have the opportunity to get to attend such a spectacular event put on by the great people fighting for our rights as gun owners every day. If you're not a member of the NRA, I would highly recommend that you join. These are the people on the front lines defending the rights that we enjoy so much. If you have the chance, I urge you to go to next year's convention. I know that I'll be there, and while one day is better than none, I'm going to try and attend the whole weekend next year.